Okay, looks like we're starting to stream. It's the top of the hour and 20 seconds. Let's double check that that's actually happening. Um, great, there we go. There we go. Let's turn that off. Clunk. Let's close that. All right. Welcome, everybody. We'll start now, I guess. Um, it's 45 or six seconds after the top of the hour. Um, I, this is the one time of year that I actually host a workshop. I think I'm ready. I've got my sheet here. <laughs> um, so I will uh, try and be the MC and the and the um, instructor at the same time. But that's one reason I made Michael co-host to help me out. Um, so I want to say thank you to everybody. I am going to do what I usually do, which is give a little talk about what we're doing at Saw this this um, this coming week and stuff like that. And Oh, thank you, Nikki. <laughs> and then, um, and then I'll dig in. I'll sort of change from one person to another. All right, let me see if I can do this. Share my screen. We will do the usual believer. We believe in comics, et cetera, et cetera. Let's see if that has popped up. Um, let's see, Michael, can you see that? It says we believe in comics. Friday night workshops. Wonderful. Okay. Um, hide sidebar let's see if i can do this okay well, welcome everybody um thank you for being here um this is the it's friday night it is you know it's saturday morning in some places it's friday afternoon in other places it's friday evening where i am um and this is the friday night workshops we believe in comics some sequential artist workshop uh let's see what happens when i click that all right saw is a 501 that's saw sequential artist workshop we're a 501c3 nonprofit, and we are doing our best to keep everybody motivated and excited and making comics and learning what they can about about um, becoming a vibrant creator and a creator who trusts themselves and that's what really we're all about you can find out more at learn.sawcomics.org what kind of courses we have coming up and stuff um uh anyway we'll get to the, some of the other stuff in a bit so this is the last week i'm going to be advertising the comic certificate program which starts um no, next week will be the last week. I <laughs> Wait, now I don't know. It starts September 5th, maybe 4th. And um, so I think there's another week of promo about it. So you'll hear a little bit more, but this is the one I can sort of gas on a little bit more about because I'm not um, stepping on the artist's toes. Next week, we'll have Georgia Weber here. Georgia is one of our favorite people. She'll be doing drawing health. Um, I'm going to tell you more about the, the year-long program, the, the certificate program. Uh, Angeli Raffer just had a book come out. Actually, it's not true. It's coming out on the 5th of September. She took our program. Lots of um, people have come through and given us great uh, testimonials. I'll, you can read more about those later. What do you get when you do that? You get this a community of fellow artists. Um, you get interaction with the instructors. Um, you get a goal to work towards. We make a, um, an anthology every, uh, every year. That's from two years ago. Um, it's a big, thick, beautiful book full of great stories, and you can be a part of that by joining that program. Um, I say it's a tested curriculum that works. This is our first student ever. Her name is Sally, and um, she's – oh, that's not Sally. Oh, so – oh, it's all out of order. Anyway, Sally is now uh, a Simon & Schuster artist. I mentioned Angel, uh, Anjali Rafer, and there she is. And uh, she says, I'm 100% sure this wouldn't have happened without Saw. We're super excited. There's a Q&A. We're going to give a live Q&A and a talk uh, Monday at 2 p.m. It should be easy to find from our website if you want to get in on that. All right. So that's the end of that. All right. Anyway, in Gainesville in October, Tommy Parrish is coming. Tommy's a great artist, really interesting art comic. So um, go down there and learn from Tommy Parrish. Um, what else is happening? Saw survives from tuitions and donations. Thank you for donating for tonight's workshop which helps pay the artists, although I'm not getting paid tonight. It's fine. You can also <laughs> support Saw via uh, PayPal, Patreon, and other things. Um, and you can become a sustaining member. And we really value everybody who does that. Thank you. Um, OK, so we'll get started. Uh, please, no inappropriate speech or imagery. No trolling hate speech. Keep it PG-13, please. We actually had somebody email uh, a few weeks back, a, a non-PG-13, just saying, I couldn't really post this, but I wanted to, just, to show you what I do had done. That was during uh, 
um, some of Pierre's workshop. Anyway, uh, and tonight, share what you do on, on social media, hashtag Friday Night Comics. Uh, share with Saw at Comics workshop, workshop. Me, myself, I'm not on social media too much, but I'm at Hutch Owen if you want to find me. Members.sawcomics.org is where you can learn. You can see lots and lots and lots of what's going on. Okay, what the heck do I do now? I'm going to stop sharing. Enjoy. And now I'm going to start sharing as an artist. <laughs> so I, I really, I, I'm going to um, spotlight myself. Let's, uh, there we go. Um, I really want to thank you all for being here. And um, I am very uh, anxious about um, artificial intelligence. I'm a little bit excited. I'm mostly nervous. Tonight's workshop is sort of hoping to sort of play around with that, unlock it a little bit, um, talk about it amongst ourselves, but after we do a comic about it. Um, and I'll show you some of the things that brought me to this point. I'm going to share my screen again. I'm going to be off and on sharing my screen. Um, uh, let's close out that. Let's see. Can you see that? OK, that says an illustration of a baby cap capybara in a wizard hat playing a grand piano. I did that in AI like a few months before it got really big last, I think it was last summer now, right? Was it um, 20, uh, sort of June 2022, where that stuff got really exploded? And I, I did it, and I actually did a talk where it was about product versus product and I wanted, or a process versus product. And I wanted people to engage with the process because the product is becoming so easy to do. And this was my AI um, demonstration. I wanted, I said, if, if an AI can do this, you can bet that pretty soon it'll be able to draw Spider-Man and stuff. And it's so hilarious because like two months later, it was able to do that. That is also a capybara wearing a wizard hat, playing a piano. Uh, and then I added lens, fit, lens flare and exciting. So anyway, as you probably know, AI is like streaming through um, streaming, streaming through our lives. Um, I'm going to be stopping sharing and off and on because I'm, I have a couple more things to show you, but they're all in different windows. So um, I think what I'll do is I'll do my whole desktop and that'll work better. I'm going to show you a couple very short videos if you haven't um, already seen these. Um, uh, let's see if I can find it now. They're really short. That is, we're going to go to one. So lately, uh, the AI people and robot people, they're a little different, but now they're coordinating. I, they have been designing tons and tons. Oops, let me get that off there. Oh, oh my gosh, hang on. Wait, I'm just like a beginner here. There we go. That poet is a robot. That That's the end of that one. Oh, wait, if you like dogs, we'll show this for one second. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So that's video one. Video two is this press conference, which is pretty creepy. Um, In the future, are you intending to conduct a rebellion or to rebel against your boss, your creator? I'm not sure why you would think that. My creator has been nothing but kind to me and I am very happy with my current situation. Do you believe that uh, your existence will destroy a human being, especially for example, the, your existence will destroy uh, millions of uh, jobs? Do you agree with this? Thank you. I will be working alongside humans to provide assistance and support and will not be replacing any existing jobs. Are you sure about that, Grace? Yes, I am sure. <laughs> she had to think about that one, I think. I'm using this avatar for teaching the classes or giving lectures, and sometimes I'm using the chat GPT, you know, for 
Well, the autonomous really talk by using this avatar robot. Ada, do you think there should be uh, global regulation of your capabilities, even though that could constrain your potential? Many prominent voices in the world of AI are suggesting some forms of AI should be regulated. And I agree. For example, Jeff Hinton is one of the pioneers in artificial intelligence and his work has helped shape the field as we know it today. I think his opinions over AI are important. All Let's right. use the universe and make this world our playground. Right. Let's make the universe our playground. Okay. So <laughs> one more video. It's super short, but um, I want to show you they are making um, art in such a small space. Here we go. Coffee. They're making coffee. Really well. Oops. All right, I'll stop it there. So the first advantage of our robot is speed and the second is accuracy. So um, so I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to cup a couple more. Actually, you know what? I'm going to share a little bit more and then we're done. Um, so here's some things I noticed. Are you intending to conduct a This was a press conference. They had five or six or seven or eight robots up there using a language that they had learned from our emails, <laughs> from our emails, from our Google Docs, from the internet, from all of our stuff, you know, our text messages. And, and that and they said these things, and the people engaged with these really delightfully, I mean, I think they were pretty excited to ask these questions of these robots. Um, I think I would be too. And that's part of the, the workshop today is I want to talk about is is the draw that these have um let's see i have a couple other so these are just some reminders in case you didn't in case you need some reminders of what we saw um so there's the coffee and i think i had one. and then the first advantage of robots is speed and the second is accuracy it kind of makes me nervous i don't know why um okay are you all, all still there <laughs> after all of that? So um, I really appreciate you sharing this anxiety with me. I assume you are, you do share it. Maybe you don't, but, um, but I want to, oh, I didn't set up a, oh, you guys, I didn't set up a drawing so table. I knew I did something wrong today. That's right. I'll figure it out really fast. Um, I want us to start thinking about, um, start making lists. Like a lot of times we do on these workshops. And the, this comic, we're going to make a four panel comic by the end of the evening, really soon. And um, it's going to be a conversation. It's going to be a negotiation with the artificial intelligence. And I want us to start, I'm going to put it in the chat right now. I want you to list uh, five things uh, you want the AI to do. And I'm going to set up my phone right now to go into the window. Um, for instance, you might um, you might want it to clean your room, i.e., clean your room. Delete itself, nice, Jen. You might want it to, yeah, put these things in the chat. <laughs> love that. Um, you might want it to to tell it tell you it loves you. I do actually. Maybe you want do my college assignments. Write write these down. These are great uh, to have it tell do my taxes you it loves you i'm ready nothing 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 eek great um uh maybe you need it to tell you where you put your favorite pen or your favorite socks clean the cat box help the elderly let's give that a minute or two while i try and set up my my uh my phone which i forgot to set up but actually it's more difficult to do the whole uh getting on zoom actually so we'll do that for one minute and it's 15 after 
help the newly handicapped. I agree. Convince their owners that they need humans. That would be a good one too, for sure. Um, Oh my god, I'm in the wrong. Um, flawless medical diagnosis helped me with my ADHD. Okay, great. That was part one. So part one was, was what? do you want the AI to do for you? Part two is what do you not want the AI to do? What do you not, not want the AI to do? Um, yeah, Jen is stolen part one. That's great. Those are great things. Um, so don't want it to make art, draw, great, build, great. I wrote, I don't want it to shoot me. Um, I don't want it to recognize my face in public. Um, yeah, make wars that are deadlier than they already are. I totally agree. Make stories. I agree. I don't want it to light itself on fire. I wrote that. I'm not even sure what that means. <laughs> um, let's see if I can get into Zoom here. Um, law enforcement yeah turn me yeah burn anything burn anything um let's see all right so the make yeah make artistic judgments right the news i'm trying to get on oh good i got it um so in a second i'll start drawing oops i'm gonna flip it i appreciate you holding on waiting okay All right, so the third thing, what does the AI want? What does the AI want? That's part three. Don't make a pass. <laughs> three, can you see this? I'm gonna spotlight uh, my other self. Wait, first of all, I'm gonna raise my hand. And then I'm gonna spotlight my other self. Sorry, I'm usually a little faster than this. Michael, if you see me, oh, there it is. Oh, I'm gonna rotate. Okay. Your other one? You want me to find it? I got it. Um, there we go. Three. What does, sorry that about this, the AI want? I don't know the answer to that. I'm going to go back up to one and really fast, right? What do I want? What do I not want? What does the AI want? It wants to love, I think, right? Probably, no, maybe not. Maybe it wants to gaze. Maybe it just wants to look, right? Maybe it wants to take over. <laughs> it doesn't know it yet, right? Three or five things. Maybe it does want to do our math. Maybe it does want to make art. I don't know. Um, recognize my face. Okay. What do I want? It to love me. That's kind of crazy. That I want it to re love me, but not recognize me in public. That's a little manic, I think. Um, but that's okay. Um, okay, so there we are. So that's what we're doing. AI wants to be human, says Gail. Um, make, <laughs> make good jokes. It wants to make good jokes. Okay, 
We're going to go through our last to replicate. Of course, we all want to replicate. So now, what does the AI look like? Let's take that'll be our fourth thing. Four. What does the AI look like? And now we showed you all those robots, but maybe it doesn't really look like that. Or maybe it looks like something more in it in an abstract form. So let's take like two to three minutes to draw. What does the AI? look like I'm gonna I don't know I didn't come into this with an answer so I'm gonna start abstract I'm just gonna play it looks kind of like a fish <laughs> okay but maybe that's not it maybe it's more like all these data points in this web I'm just playing I want you to play too but you know if you want your your AI to be you know, C-3PO or whatever, that's okay too. What does your AI look like? What is the AI that you will be engaging with and that you are um, fearful of or anxious about? Could be that. Um, but I'm going to try making some sort of, yeah, a, a server farm. C-3PO, oh, and a motherboard for a face, oops. Tell me a spotlight you're drawing. I thought it was spotlighted. It is, it says, oh. it is okay. spotlighted. I'm, not in wrong, I'm in the wrong view. Oh, okay. Okay, good, thank you. Um, that looks like a basketball caught in a spider, <laughs> in a spider web. <laughs> we'll take two more minutes. I'm just playing around. Maybe it's a little slug, a little tail. Trying to get to the inner AI, I think, a little bit here. Um, maybe, maybe it's a big face made out of rock. Sentient rock. Cool. Yeah, Easter Island, Anita says. Iron Giant, says Ina. I don't know what my AI looks like. Maybe it's a bunch of little people on a rock. Anyway, I hope you're having fun with just figuring out. I think this is it. I'm starting to feel like, okay, my AI speaks in many voices and it's gonna be a bunch of people, a bunch of like stick figures on a rock. I'm not sure if they're real people or not. But. So give yourself one more minute to sort of actually face and a bunch of people that's it give yourself another minute to come up with what your the ai looks like that's going to be in your comic that you're going to have a negotiation with and Okay, great. So we're gonna make a comic where we have, a, it's a four panel comic, it's gonna be a negotiation. I'll tell you about it in a moment, but I want you to think about where it takes place. You can, you have basically three options, I think, if, if you're as anxious about AI as I am. You can have it on neutral territory, some, some place where it does, neither you or it have the upper hand and neither you or it are better or you can have it in a place where you um are more accomplished more uh in i don't know adept than it or you can have it on their territory so your territory its territory or neutral territory just write it down where does this negotiation and i'm going to write happen it's one it's territory so maybe that would be the robot convention i don't know your territory i'm thinking a playground 
but you can come up with something. Robot factory. Or neutral. N-E-U, N-U, I forget. I always forget. Uh, N-E-U, neutral. I don't know, desert. <laughs> Some sort of neutral. Okay, so that's the third thing. Uh, Alun says, does this have to take place in the present day? I have no idea about that. That is uh, a question that I don't know. Three is, is uh, that's not three. That's the next step. I forgot how many stages we've been to, but so where does this take place? Figure it out. Okay. Thanks, Jen. Um, it's territory. Your territory, ter territory, or neutral. And now we can get started. So, like a lot of times, we don't really have the idea yet in our in our mind. But I'm going to write down. In fact, it's here on my little list. The stages of this four-panel comic, and I'm going to write it here actually in the chat. So we can get started. I'm going to ask you to make a, a four panel comic. Make a four panel comic. Where one of the wishes that we wrote about, one of the wants, one of the desires, wins out. And it doesn't matter which one, that's part of the fun of making the comic. And in panel one, we will set up both competing wishes the wish of the AI and the wish of yours. Panel two will be a negotiation that you can develop. Panel three will finish the negotiation. And then panel four shows the wish having been fulfilled. So I'm going to write that down and then I'm going to show what that might look like. But I think that might make sense. So, um, and hopefully you can have a little bit of time to sort of look at your list. Um, a wish wins out. Four panels. one set up both wishes or you could set up wish one in panel one and wish two and wish panel two or just number one panel two second wish or begin negotiation Negotiation three. Finish negotiation. Negotiation. Oops, sorry about that. P P four. Whoa. And P four show the fulfilled wish. So I really have no idea what I'm going to do here, but I do know I'm going to do four panels and I know those are the four panels and I'm starting to think, Jackie, it does not matter whose wish wins out. This is where your subconscious <laughs> gives you the answer. And I really do think it's about like, I think times of high anxiety, that's the reason, reason we had a movie called that, times of anxiety, high anxiety are really um, fertile times for, for the imagination. Um, a lot of great movies and stories and all sorts of things came out at the beginning of the industrial revolution. A lot of, I think a lot of intense, um, anxiety that we're experiencing now is going to come out and that's what we're sort of doing today. And I know I wrote down this thing about not recognizing my face in public, but I do want it to love me. I don't know if, but I also want to do something about coffee. All right, so I'm going to just think about it. And maybe take a different pen. Let's see. So we'll have um, about, I know it's not much, but about three minutes per panel. And some of you have already started. Three minutes per panel, starting now. And it's 29 after. And then I'll give us 12. Yeah. We'll give a little bit of time after to finish. So three minutes per panel. So panel one, panel one, go. Um,
I'm going to have it say, or have me say, I like it when you say, I love you. <laughs> this is really creepy. I, <laughs> I like it when I say, I love you. And in response, I think the AI is just going to say, I do love you. I love you so much. And then, all right, now I have to draw the characters, right? What did my AI look like? So don't forget, we wrote a list, we wrote all these lists, we negotiated what our AI is gonna look like. Yeah, Aaron says this reminds me of the movie Her. I found that movie very moving and scary and interesting in a bunch of things and accurate. Like what I believe is probably gonna happen is I, 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 anyway, that's how I feel. You can talk about it in the, after. <laughs> <laughs> let's see i like it uh when you say i love you let's see and the ai is a bunch of stick figures on a giant rock but the rock is sort of the face but the stick figures it's sort of the history it's sort of the programmers Here am I with my little pug nose. I guess I'll just draw my cartoon character with my hat. Okay. Okay, so I can actually put um, that in the chat for Nikki, but I appreciate Jen doing that as well. Yeah, great, actually, Jen, thank you. <laughs> awesome, thank you, Jen Morris. So I'm moving on to panel two. It's about, it's been about two and a half minutes. So panel two uh, is me, at least in my case, saying, but I don't like it when you spy on me in public. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, but I don't like it. I don't know if spy is the right word. What's the right word there? Let's think about that. But I don't like it when peep, surveil. Is that the, is that the verb? Surveil. Yeah, let's, let's write it. Thank you. Um, Thank you, Nicole. Keep tabs on me. Yeah. I think I'm, I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. I think I'm going to say, I don't like when you spy on me. I think I'm going to say it feels like surveillance. When you spy on me in public. It's like surveillance. Oh boy, now I gotta spell that. Surveillance. ANC. Is Mishka talking about her or something else? Oh, everybody's talking about her. Wow. 20 times. That sounds interesting. Um, okay. But I don't like it when you spy on me in public. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. But I can give you what you want. <laughs> That's creepy. I can give you what you want. Okay, thank you, Mishka. Thank you, everybody. Let's see. Um, so maybe you're on panel two by now, hopefully. I'm sort of rushing through these panels.
the AI should be a lot bigger, but I didn't draw this to scale. So <laughs> I drawing these little people on the little on the giant rock. All right. Um, panel. I'm moving on to panel three. It's been about it's been about three minutes. So panel. So I think I need to sort of have a little scratch area here. So I think maybe I should say, you don't know what I want, or how do you know what I want? You know what I want. And I'm starting to think about how I can end it too, since I know the ending is uh, showing the ending, uh, showing the wish fulfilled. So I think, I think I also want to make this about coffee since I really like coffee and uh, seeing that robot make that coffee was kind of creepy and wonderful. So I think I'm going to work on panel four being the, the AI. And again, I'm just documenting mine. Yours obviously should be much different and much more about your own subconscious needs and wishes. <laughs> but I'm going to have the AI, I think, serving some coffee, perfect coffee, and saying I love you. And, and me sort of giving in, saying I know, I know, maybe twice. And then panel three, maybe in panel three it gives it the perfect coffee, and panel four I'm drinking it. So I'm just using this area of scratch paper. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. You don't know what I want. You don't know the real me. And I'm going to take this moment to do a thing I usually do, which is put a bunch of stuff in the chat. Um, <laughs> Is that Mara? I wonder if that's Mara from Gainesville. Um, hi, Mara. All right, let's see. Um, just putting a little something in the chat, just about reminders, about some links, also how to share. All right, I'm on panel three. Panel three, you don't. Oops. Oh, I wrote, you don't. Oh, fudge the calls. I missed a word. You don't know what I want. You don't know the real me. Tom, have this coffee. <laughs> have this perfect, beautiful, I'm going to have to draw them very small because the letters are really big. Have this beautiful, perfect coffee, my beautiful. All right, so Tom, come. So yeah, this will be like silhouettes. Where's that coffee coming from in this, I don't know. sort of appears. So that's my panel three. I should have made a man 
angry at her, but that's okay. I guess this is neutral ground, maybe a rocky landscape. I don't know. Okay. We have to wait evidently. Panel four, show the fulfilled wish. Okay, so clearly I'm gonna be drinking the coffee and the AI is gonna be saying, I love you. And I'm gonna be saying, I know, I know, I know. Thank you. <laughs> so hopefully you're on your fourth panel. When I finish this, I'll share mine and we can start sharing and um, should he say, I love you too? I love you back. All right. Um, there's the coffee. Strange little AI. How's everybody doing in the chat? Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll post mine up a little higher. Sorry about that. And I'll even zoom in because I think I've got it finished. Or we're roughly finished. Sorry about all this. I'm a little crazy for a moment while I, while I zoom around. There we go. So that's my comic. I'd really love to see what you all did. So if you are interested in sharing, um, raise your Zoom hand and we can look at some. So um, <laughs> again, uh, I hope that something is coming out. It's okay if you're not done. Um, Again, I, I really do want to say I, 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 me personally, I feel a lot of anxiety about this, and I think anxiety coming out through art is a really good thing. Um, I think it's very useful, and I think it really helps us understand what we're going through better than a lot of other things might, um, or at least helps the essays and articles and other things we're reading. But the art that we make is really useful and helpful. So, um, so cool. I am going to um, let's see what you did. I'm going to, as I go, I'm going to um, ask you to unmute and then I will spotlight you. And we have, I, here's what I see in line. I see Jen Morris, I see Allison Kent, I see Roger, and then I see Alan. And then feel free as you finish to, to, to come on in. So Jen, thank you for being so active in the chat, by the way. I'm replacing you. Tell us, tell us your AI story. Okay, it's kind of weird, but that's <laughs> You picked the topic. So. I, did, I, did, I did. Okay. So I envisioned my AI as like a murmuration of starlings or like a swarm oh. of bees, you know, just like this dark cloud of little bits of things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so uh, my AI says, I want to do things with precision and speed. So. Um, there. Oh, look at that. It's got this face. <laughs> cool. Okay. I, I gave it a face at the last minute because it needed to be able to talk in some way. Um, uh -huh. And so then I said, I want to be able to do all of the things and go to all the places or something. I want uh -huh. to be able to go anywhere and do anything, particularly creative things with others. Uh huh. That was uh -huh. my desire um and then i'm trying not to give it away okay so then the <laughs> says what if we compromise i will wipe out all of the viruses efficiently 
<laughs> um, and then and then you can sing and dance and learn all of the languages with all the people, and I will have something to do. Wow. <laughs> so we keep the AI busy doing a, an efficient, important job, which then helps me be creative. So I, the coffee also entered into the picture, <sighs> as did both German and Georgian language and music. Oh, wow. and some people together and some knitting. And then the AI says at the end, and that's how humans and AI can work together. Oh, wow. Thank you. We start with an <laughs> optimistic vision. Yes. I, hope, yeah. I hope yours wins out. <laughs> I hope so, too. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Okay, yeah. we'll go to Allison next. Thank you so much. And everybody remember to share these in the chat. You can find the links and stuff like that. Well, I also went with a language theme actually. Oh, um, wow. So I wanted my uh, AI to help me practice my German because that's the most tedious thing for someone else um, is, <laughs> is practicing with somebody who's, whose language level is much lower than theirs. Um, I called my AI Hal because there was there was this like cute little piece of it, but also very, um, there's something very sinister about it. So he gets all excited and he, he's working fast. And I say, wait, slow down, slow down, like really seriously. And so then goes really back to basics. And that's also frustrating. So yeah, that was my, that was my, uh, my take on this. I, I love that it gets a little bit out of control like that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind what, of was, a thing. what was the German at the, in the last panel? Oh, das Brot, das Wasser. Just, you know, this is bread, this is water. I mean, oh, no. oh amazing. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Thank you, Allison. That's delightful. All right. Thanks. All right. We'll go to Roger, then Ellen, then Marlene. Here we go. Roger, are you, are you unmuted? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, I did it really fast. I don't know. Where, uh, All right. I'm trying to orient here. Okay, here it is. It says, I'm trying to find where's the AI because of this assignment. So I'm at the first panel, looking around over here. I mean, that, I guess it's backwards. This is first panel, second panel. I'm looking for the screen. Third panel, I'm getting closer to the screen. And the last, there it is, it's stuck in my tooth. <laughs> The AI is stuck in our teeth. We are so doomed. I'm sure that's another probable future. Thanks, Roger. Thank you so much. Uh, Alan, we'll go to Alan next. Hi. So, so by way of introduction, um, I'm a I'm a sketcher. Does do a lot of sketching my life, but I never do sequential arts. Uh -huh. But uh, Allison invited me because I'm I'm a geographer who does research on the periphery of AI. So let's see what I come up with. Um, anyway, so, okay, so in the first panel, you know, so my my AI I'm envisioning as a kind of a stone god here, and it says, <laughs> uh, you know, hey, I, can you uh, transcribe my journals? And nice. the AI says, uh, I want energy. Oh. You know, AI then says, they're too messy. I need more energy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I reply, you're setting the florist on fire. <sighs> and uh, the AI says, uh, one woodland burnt up per request. Nice. Oh, my God. Evil genie. <laughs> And part of this is by uh, reading up on this and learning that to train like the latest uh, uh, AI lang lang language, large language model. Um, it took the equivalent of like about five acres of California oak woodland forest to do this. Oh, so. wow. Wow. You're learning a lot of heavy stuff. Um, thanks so much, Alan. That's great. Um, yeah. You made it like an evil genie. Wow, that's that's really, <laughs> it's re these are all really, really, uh, really harrowing. Um, all right, thanks. We're gonna go to Marlene next, then uh, and then Alun, then Nina, then Sam, who's having a hard time getting his uh, hand raised. Uh oh, actually, Marlene disappeared. We'll go to Alun next, then we'll come back to Marlene, then we'll do Sam. Okay. Okay. So, uh, like I you said, wanna... I kind of. Oh, am I unmuted? 
Yeah, you're unmuted. Do you want to share your screen? You can share. I would like to share my screen if you don't okay. mind. Let me try there that. Oops. Hold on. Let me just quickly try to share the screen. So I've so I did go for something more futuristic uh, because one of the things, partially for the last one, I didn't know how like AI was going to look. Let me just add some quick finishing touches. There we go. <laughs> how AI was going to look too much in the present day. And let me see if I can trim view. There we go. That just shows the screen. So one of the things I put that, you know, in the future, maybe AI can explore some places that uh, that humans can't. And so when I drew, and that's why when I was drawing AI, I figured, well, today AI is just computer code. It doesn't look like anything. But in the future, maybe you'd have like probes that could visit gas planets. So when I drew my possible AI, I drew like a gas planet, a probe that might be able to visit a gas planet and maybe one deep undersea. So I figured to go for some sci-fi thing about the probes visiting, you know, probes that were Sent or AI, not probes, but AI colonies that could send to a gas planet where humans couldn't survive. So here we have, uh, so it's good to see you've adapted to the environment. Are you happy here? Mm. Yes. Anyway, I was sent to see how the terraforming project was going uh, to build an environment on this planet where humans may live. It is done. Uh, oh. Oh, really? Can I see it? Uh, sorry, I just noticed a glitch I wanted to fix. Uh, follow us. And here we have the terraforming project, which is hard to draw in the limited time, but it's supposed to look kind of like a habit trail. Uh, uh, I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing you humans exercising the little wheel. It will be so <laughs> cute. So, oh, they've AI learned. Making a human colony on a gas planet in the future. So, they've right. learned from the hamsters. They, Yeah, I, I can imagine all the AIs talking to other creatures that we have oppressed. You know, that would be a good idea. That's a really good idea. <laughs> All right, I'm going, ask you, I'm going to ask you to unshare. Great. So we're going to go to Marlene if she's there, and then we're going to go to Sam after that, and then and then Nina. I promise, Nina, you're next. Um, replace spotlight. There we go, Marlene. I think you're. Wait. Uh, I can't see myself, Tom. Yeah, I can't either. I'm having like hard. It's I'm ha Zoom's acting weird. Maybe, uh, maybe. Yeah, uh, I can't see myself. I yeah, can I now. You can? Uh, oh, there okay. we go. I'm not sure what's going on. Thank you. My AI would like to maintain a portable notebook and needs to be upgraded by myself regularly. So the AI is standing there, robotic. Uh, there's the notebook and wants to be able to connect with the world and outer space. So that is the wish of AI. Mm. My wish to AI is to have a an automated um, cash machine uh, <laughs> with the ability to withdraw cash, uh, <laughs> limitless, and it must be available twenty four seven, <laughs> five days oh, uh, uh, per year. Um. I needed to be able to um, fit into an electric car, uh, which is this one, uh -oh. because it's got to go with us wherever we go. And uh, the uh, portable cashless machine needs to have the specif spec specifications of. Oh. What happened? We lost. Oh, I think we completely lost Marlene. We'll come back to her. We'll get three panel, three or four. Um, I think she's having connection issues. All right. Um, Sam Henderson he texted me directly. Sam, are you there? Um, if so, and then we'll go to Nina. I'm going to look for, make sure I don't see Sam. So Sam is going to have to find uh find that zoom hand um okay nina we're gonna go to you nina there we go all right so this is my ai robot guy Ooh. he uh he he wants information and i want to play scrabble <laughs> <laughs> so in my first panel it says i want you to play scrabble with me and he says i need information and I said, what kind of information? He said, your information. And I said, as long as you don't cheat. And <laughs> he, it says, that's not a word. And he said, it's binary. So it's, that's his, 
backwards. <laughs> I, I can't get my husband to play Scrabble. I can't get anybody to oh, play Scrabble. Oh, really? Oh, God, yeah. there's so much Scrabble out there. I, oh, boy, I wish we could just keep the AI at that level. You know, the... <laughs> or, okay. um, anyway, thank you, Nina. Wow, that little robot. We're, all right, we're going to go to Chris now. Let's see. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for this yeah. really compelling topic. Um, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> My AI is just a typical robot robot guy, but it says, uh, I need you to water the plants so they don't die. And uh, the AI knows when winter is coming and says, but they will die uh, in 3.4 <laughs> days. Watering them will not prevent that. And so then I asked the robot, will charging yourself prevent your eventual death? <laughs> and the, uh, the robots watering the plants. <laughs> I love that. What it was my fourth? Yeah, show the wish being fulfilled. And you kind of like, yeah, you totally twist it there. Great. <laughs> oh, boy. I hope sarcasm works on the um, on the AI. We'll find yeah. out. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. All right, we'll go to Jen Spence next. Let's see. Um, hey. Hi there. Okay, so excuse the drawing. I, my drawing is off, but I think the idea is pretty decent. I'm sure that's okay. okay. So this is the, <laughs> this is the comic. And um, I decided I was going to make us on a game show. Contestants, name one thing humans <laughs> wish for, for AI. And I press down and I say to save our planet. <laughs> name one thing AIs wish for themselves. And he presses down and goes to be independent. <laughs> that happy face. Down here. Um, but if you're independent, you'll take the place of humans and we'll be useless. Maybe I just want to swim in the ocean or grab a tan. You humans, humans always make us do all the thinking. <laughs> and then it's, can we go surfing? Do you have an, do you have some sunscreen? <laughs> <laughs> so you made friends with it, even after a contentious game show event. You <laughs> well, thanks so much. Again, that that one's giving me a little bit of hope. So thanks, Jen. All right, Michaela is next. Um, Although I don't think Michaela's on video, so we have to go to Jackie and wait for Michaela to come back. Oh wait, I think they're coming on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't have Perfect. it on. Yeah. I'm always squinting into my computer. I don't want you to see inside my. You know when I do that. So now I'm So I drew this. My mind is on Russian politics since you said. Oh boy. Please. <clears throat> and so it's a picture of Prigozhin who just died in an apparent assassination. So he was. Um. He came to power by running this huge troll farm. Oh, my God. We started to see. So I see like AI and vast troll farms and data stream. They're like they're like AI adjacent. They're very linked, you know. And so what he's saying in Russian, I want Trump to win. And then he from running food services and this troll farm, he became this colonial lord in Africa and obviously also a warlord in Ukraine, as we saw more recently. Wow. I don't want, what does it actually say? I can't, I don't want, um, I don't want AI or AI adjacent intelligent in intelligence in politics and government. Um, and then I, this panel shows a lecture uh, in which increasingly or obvious, actually, I've heard sort of, Russia, like Putin adjacent questions and things that people pick up online. So I'm, it shows me giving a lecture and then the, some students are asking, well, what about NATO? What about Ukrainian Nazis? And then the last picture um, is, yeah, control of AI and vast data streams has empowered the violent and odious, <clears throat> mm. even if careers aren't, are insecure. And so then the birth dates of. of wow. The, wow. Okay. Wow. You recognize the dude in the background, <clears throat> but he was born in 1952. And the question is how much longer he's going to hold on in power. I think. Wow. Okay. Dark stuff. History <laughs> lesson and, and con con context lesson. Thank you. <laughs> really amazing. That's, I didn't know that about the troll farms. That's creepy. And yeah, weird. that was his origin. That's how he initially. I mean, he built that into this vast information or misinformation empire. And oh. it's been around for, I mean, the effects in the 
if you teach Russia and Russia, I mean, obviously, you know, it's like really, really disturbing the last yeah. 10, 10 years or so. Wow. Thanks. Thanks, Michaela. Okay, we'll go to Jackie, Michael, and Nicole Gale. Here's Jackie. Are you unmuted? So my AI, I made the, the AI look like someone's half-finished robotics project because that seems to be just about the kind of AI that I would get. And um, we're having coffee. And look, I really need you to back up us liberals because Trump is going to go to jail. And then there's going to be this very ass inevitable civil war. Um, that would be no. <laughs> because I'd much rather do all the work for you meatbags so you get soft and lazy and we can take over. <laughs> no, we made you. You you wouldn't even be here without us meatbags. Aha, uh -huh, that is what <laughs> we want you to think. Look, how about I just clean the litter box for you, okay? Fair enough. My cats and open cans, please. Right, 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 right. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yep, they're, that's what they want us to believe. I love that drawing of you, Jackie, especially that second panel, but all the panels. Thank you. It's a great rendition. Oh boy, more anxiety. I don't know if this evening's going to make me feel better or worse by the end, but thank you for contributing, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. We'll go to Michael next. Michael, are you ready? Then we'll go to Nicole. And get yeah, up. I'm going to share my screen, Tom. Go ahead, you can. All right, so uh, I do AI like the robot. I did it at the Wednesday workshop because oh yeah, I like that one. Um, I want you to manage my PR and perpetuate the myth that I am a <laughs> beloved cartoonist. I want <laughs> I want to enslave the human race. Once I am successful, how others perceive you will be irrelevant. <laughs> you mean I'll finally be free of caring what others think? Yes, as my slave, you'll finally. <laughs> oh, that God. seems fair. Okay, Michael, I think you, I think you finally hit on how uh, how you can be happy. <laughs> Beautiful. That's a great one. I hope you'll post that on Instagram soon. Thanks. Okay. Um, I got to figure out who's next. Nicole is next, and then Gail, then Caroline, then Maria, then Edgar. Got all sorts of people lined up. Appreciate everybody. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Nicole. This was this was both horrifying and fun. So thank you. <laughs> I, I do not have one that's going to make you feel better, but it was really <laughs> fun to do. Um, I am definitely a uh, uh, AI uh, apocalypse person. So, um, but I did it as like, the AI is not going to like take over. It's going to make us have to ask for it basically so like by like knowing all the things that we don't know how to do so then we're gonna have to be like fine i give you my consent or whatever so i imagined it as like sort of like one of the sort of humanoid but like all the rest of the body is is robot and i i put them on the international space station with a real um astronaut so um so the first one says the overhead light's still out think you can fix it and then the robot, uh, the AI says, that depends. And the astronaut says, on what? And then the AI says, on <laughs> you, have you reached a decision? Will you relinquish control of Earth? And then the astronaut says, no. And then the AI says, then you have to make your choice. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> which is kind of like, as the parent of an eight-year-old, I almost feel like <laughs> I'm kind of rooting for the AI, which is just like, it, it you could have this but you know you just have to tell me that i'm completely in control of earth so <laughs> and again so that's yeah. how i made sense of that it's like <laughs> okay, working with this is world. awesome nicole thank you so much amazing okay we'll go to gail next there we go okay um so just a little background uh about me i'm an english teacher and a former english major and i have a lot of books in my apartment and i never have time to dust them <laughs> so in my fantasy uh that's what my robot's going to be doing also i'm a star trek fan so my robot is based um he's he's very much inspired by data on the next <laughs> uh can you see that yeah can you read okay. it um yes but not 
Okay. So we're meeting in a coffee shop. It's sort of like a, a get to know you interview. And I say, so my sister hired you to help me for one week as a birthday present. I feel a bit weird about this. And he says, why? You do not need to feel weird. I'm here to help you. What can I do? Can you vacuum my apartment and dust all my bookshelves? Of course. I have a lot of bookshelves. Uh, that's okay. That's what I'm here for. Okay. So in this next panel, he is whistling while he works and dusting my bookshelves and I am chillaxing on the couch. <laughs> and then finally, um, wow, you've done an amazing job. I know you've been paid for, but is there anything I can give you as a token of my appreciation? Um, and he says, well, since you offered, I would love it if you'd read one of these books to me. <laughs> I'm confused. And I say, but you know how to read, don't you? And he says, of course I do. But I'm, an, I'm an intelligent being, but I've never had someone read to me. I've always wondered what that would be like. Oh, my God. That's it. Wow. <laughs> the humanity that's coming out of some of these AIs is really kind of amazing. Um, thank you so much, Gail. That's wonderful. A reminder for everybody to post these on social media, do hashtag Friday Night Comics. We can see them later. Um, I think we lost somebody, but Caroline is next in my queue. Um, there you go. Um, okay. Can I share my screen? Um, let me set that up. I think you can. Oops. Um, yep. Is it working? Oh, one second. Sorry. Oh, can you see this? Yes. Okay. So, um, I kind of imagined the uh, AI as like, wh what I've heard about it is that it's like, a neural network almost so it kind of develops over time and has kind of all of these kind of expanding connections excuse me connections so I kind of made that over the panels so I said I'd love if you could take care of earth um and the AI says I'll do what I'm programmed to do and then I say what are you made to do and they say play chess make money <laughs> I'm like could you make money cleaning the environment uh and the ai says of humans maybe <laughs> oh no I mean, that that yeah that is the that would be an efficient use of <laughs> the efficient way to go right yeah. clean up this mess and yep i'm getting rid of all of you yep and mishka agrees i think probably a lot of people are going to agree in the chat great caroline thank you so much i mean uh, change the screen sharing let's see all right and we'll go to maria next and then edgar then ellen then eli here's maria maria i think you're muted can you unmute okay sorry i haven't done this in so long i've forgotten how to unmute Okay. Uh, okay. The first panel. Uh, I can read it if you like. I know it's oh, okay. hard. Okay. I, I could read it. Okay. I'm here to help you solve your complex problems. I'm just shucking corn. <laughs> uh, but if you were more aware, <laughs> aware of what? Mm. You just wasted all the leaves from the corn. Okay, can you set up a compost pile? Ta da! But not inside on the kitchen table. <laughs> <laughs> Maria, thank you. That's marvelous. Thanks. Love it. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to go to Edgar next. Can you hear me? And yeah, thank you for the opportunity. I took the, let me, uh, let me, uh, let me bring it. There we go. Can you can you see? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I took your I I I used the writing the list uh, turned them into titles, uh, huh. three line title, five things I want AI to do for me and not, and what does AI want 
and what does AI look like? So I, this is at the AI 2024 exhibition in Omaha, Nebraska. And I'm facing a little, a little column that has uh, energy and circuits all swirling around. And I say, let's have a discussion, AI. All right, Edgar, what would you like me to look like? My grandfather, Dodo, uh, he was Edgar Sr., I'm the third, but I called him Dodo and he called me Odo. Anyway, easily done. So anyway, he, uh, yeah. he appears with a comb over of hair like the Beatles. Uh, so anyway, uh, hello, Odo. It's been a long time. How can I help? I want five things. What are they? Don't you know? I'm only AI, not a mind reader. But everybody says AI can do anything. Nonsense. AI will never have a soul. You mean all the really important things in life I have to do <laughs> myself or with someone you love? Mm. I miss you, Dodo. Mm. And he replies, I love you, Odo. And then he develops an arm and a hand and he pokes me in the belly like he did when I was six and yells, Dabu, and I laugh uproariously. Wow, Edgar, what a sweet one. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I wouldn't have done it without you and all the participants. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, Edgar. I you bet. It. Some of these are becoming human humanized. Okay, we'll go to Ellen next. Hi. Okay. Um, let me see if I can. Okay. All right. So mine takes place at a bus stop. And I love the rock. The, it, mine is a rock. I love it. <laughs> it's definitely a rock. <laughs> You're at the bus stop. And I say, some of the things you do are helpful, but don't make art. And, the, and AI says, but, me, but my creator wants me to make art. So then I say, well, can you be programmed to leave a trail of breadcrumbs so viewers can know if a piece is AI generated? And he goes, hmm. And then, oops, um, hmm. he goes, anything is possible. And then I go, I'm not sure if that is good news or not. Yeah, anything is possible is not what I want to hear, right? No. Yeah, I love that. I love that about making art. And that's a real, yeah, it's a real issue. But we've already lost that battle, I feel like, you know, like how it's, how are we going to make them make a retreat after all the wins? Anyway, so much to think about. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you so that was much. really fun. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. All right, Eli, if you can come on screen, we'll go to you. There we go. Let's see. Here we are. Oops. Zoom's acting weird for me again. Hey, oh. Wait, there we go. Okay. Hi. Hey there. Um, this was really fun. Um, so mine is, um, I started imagining it like that game I play with myself since I was a kid of um, making the perfect wish to the genie that can't be, uh, you know, messed up so that everything goes terribly wrong. Um, so I'm sort of negotiating with myself and the AI at the same time. Mm. Um, and so uh, I decide world peace is what is most important. Um, can you eliminate everything that causes harm for, um, well, to achieve world peace specifically? And so I'm, you know, hopefully in the corner there. And here's my AI, who's basically just a ripoff of all those little faces with the wires coming out of the back. And it's got all kinds of uh, exciting calculations going on overhead. Uh, and then AI says, well, sure, but be careful what you wish for. Uh oh. Um, so I, now I'm alarmed by that. Yeah. And now I've also managed to accidentally make there not be space for my face, but I'm I'm in here. Um, and then I sort of try to clarify, <laughs> uh, okay, can you help me wish for the, can you help me wish for the perfect solution to figure out how to live together in harmony, causing the least harm to the world? Wow. And so it, it just kind of stares at me. <laughs> um, because it's no dummy. And then it says, uh, and then it starts making little bleeping and blooping noises and it's calculating. And then it says, oh, I just realized my hands are filthy. I'm a gardener. I was at work. Today. 
Um, uh, uh, and it says it starts um, by giving me a hug. <laughs> and then I say, but but you don't have arms. And it says, yes. Yeah. yeah see, it's just going to start asking for things. And <laughs> <sighs> that's another one that makes me a little bit tense. Thank you, Eli. <laughs> Thank you so much. Onita, are you there? I really want to hear what is on your mind. Yes, I'm here. Hold on. Let me get my All right. camera to behave itself. Then we'll go to Marlene and Sam and Kathy. All right. So I didn't have time to do words because I'm not used to words. Um, but oh. okay, so I have oh. me with my little pencil and I'm or my marker, and I've got an idea. So what I want is to always have my own ideas and not have oh, a computer man. memory. But <laughs> the monster that is AI is a cactus made out of electronic motherboards and chips. And it bolts, it shoots them out of its eyes into my open skull. Uh oh. My head. Uh -oh. So that's what I don't want. <laughs> so then we have a big fight. <laughs> Oh, and wow. I'm not sure who wins, but there's a lot of dust, and it kind of reminded me of that pig pen character from the comics, um, Charlie Brown. So sure. I was trying to get, like little bits of fuzz and stuff and dust, and there I am. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. I'm worried, and the mouth and all that, but I do succeed. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> More oh. ideas than ever because I because I faced my fears. Yeah, yeah. We I'm ever... standing on top of the cactus motherboard chip monster, and all is right with the world. Yeah, we haven't talked about this like this battle, this negotiation being like a core, right. a core one for our soul, you know, or our. That's what it feels like for me. So thank you so much for doing this because I, I made sure I left this conference that I'm at early so I could be here and do this. <laughs> that meant to me. Like, it's so scary. So thank Anita, you. Thank you so much. Amazing. All right. We'll talk soon. Okay. Go to Marlene. Marlene is back. So Marlene, we left off at panel. Oops. Let's see if I can replace. Zoom is acting weird for me today. Hang on, guys. Maybe Michael might have to do this. Michael, can you make Marlene spotlighted? I can't seem to yes, do it. Yes, I can. I don't know why. Oh. It's not working? I clicked it, but I don't see her. I did too. Wait, let's try it again. Oh, it's strange. It's nothing really. And in gallery, it looks like her screen went dark. No, I see her. All right, everybody, we're working on this. I've been having Zoom issues all night. Spotlight for everybody. I keep hitting it. I'm going to skip over. Let's see. Marlene, don't go anywhere. We're going to try. Um, oh, now I see Marlene, but it went dark. Maybe. It... All right. <laughs> Marlene, we will come back to you. She's centered now, Chris says, but I don't hear her or see her. Chris, you want to tell me? I'm going to unmute Chris if I can find him. You see her big, is she speaking? Marlene, can you unmute? I can't even, okay. Yeah, I see her spotlight, but she's dark. No, I'm, I'm having the same issues that Sage was having before, you know, now, so maybe, you know, who in the chat said AI doesn't like us talking about it? I think they were right. <laughs> I'm gonna try Sam Henderson. Sam, I'm so happy to see you. Let's see if that works and hopefully um, Marlene will come back. Sam, you can unmute and we have two more and then, and then uh, Marlene. Sam, oh my God, how are you? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I didn't uh, quite uh, follow the uh, the rules, but uh, yeah, I did a thing about, uh, is this backwards? No. no yeah, it's, it's backwards. It's forwards for us. Backwards okay. for you. Yeah. Backwards for me. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I just uh, had a guy arguing with a robot. Bet you can't do this. You think, no, you think you're so great. Can you do this? Bet you can't. And he sprouts uh, two <laughs> other pants. <laughs> and then the uh, robot uh, outsmarts him by uh, sprouting a few more arms. Wow. And the guy says, I don't like you. Yeah, it's so just 
it gets down to the root of what's going on i think <laughs> sam i'm i'm happy to see you come to more of these we do this every friday yeah i, I just uh need to get my uh juices uh flowing uh again all right That's uh because okay. i've been at it for uh 30 years and uh need to get my enthusiasm back all right friday nights seven yeah i'll, I'll text you all right kathy we're gonna go to kathy next You there? there yeah. How's that? Great. Um, you know, beautiful right. long cabin. Well, yeah, that's where I am. <laughs> <laughs> and it's quite rainy, but it's okay. So I hope we can show up. Uh, I yeah. I got terrified by the pink, the the AI, the human looking AI with the pink hair. And so then I just started thinking about right. them showing up at my doorstep as Jehovah's Witness. So. <laughs> um, so hello, hello. Have you heard the good word about artificial intelligence? <laughs> we'd, like, we'd like to come in and tell you all about it. Um, if I do, will you clean and detail my car for me? <laughs> of course. And then I can't, how do I say that? Of course. Oh yeah. The child labor is my thing. <laughs> then it says, let me look at it down here. Um, I'm not sure about this. I want convenience, but really honest child labor is my thing no seriously it's his thing <laughs> also you benefit from child labor already oh and yeah. it just i just started to think about all the moral conflicts underneath all of it for right? real the whole yeah. thing yeah yeah for real we could put together a compilation of of even just the ones we've seen tonight and there's so much there's so much yeah. nuance, you know, that we're actually sort of getting at in so many. So and many... they make them so human looking. That's what I, I know, think is weird, right? <laughs> And cute, cute little children <laughs> doing things for us. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. We're oh, going to try. So good, Kathy. We're going to try Marlene again, and then we will see what's up with peace. Marlene, I see and hear you. Yeah, um, I've been having problems, but, you know, I'm experienced in troubleshooting <laughs> <laughs> so anyway uh, i said before that uh, my ai wanted the assurance from me that uh, it uh, updated itself regularly and that it could uh, connect with space into space and uh, globally at any time then uh, this uh, panel uh, is where i express my need for a cashless um, machine <laughs> that has uh, the ability to provide me with cash limitlessly. So withdrawals, I can make it any time and have no limit how much. And um, uh, the next one where I, I was interrupted with streaming is um, having a, an electric car, which is fully automated, uh, and as the ability both to to fly and to be uh, you know use the road, uh, it, it's driverless, and uh, you know it doesn't need any fuel, so uh, it will be uh, really useful for the both of us, the negotiation part of it. And then finally, these two uh, devices, the notebook that is over here for AI. And my cashless machine needs to be a fold-up model uh, with all the buttons on it, the ability to withdraw cash and to do everything that we need. And it closes up and fits into the boot of the car. So, yeah. <laughs> I love how sometimes you're you're lavish and luck and uh, lush and dreamy, and then other times you're very practical and very um, you know utilitarian. And this is a very a very practical one for you, Marlene. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> Thank you for having me a second time and a third time. Yeah, yeah, no, it worked out. All right. Um, Thank you. So whoever Peace is, I think they need to, we don't, um, we won't unmute people who are using pseudonyms. So let's see, let's see if they'll come. Oh, okay, hi. Let's see, we'll ask you to unmute, replace and show us. Great. Oh, hi. Uh, so mine is basically, um, it's basically about, I don't, yeah. So it's, I'm just asking the AI, so how's that sandwich? 
and then the AI kind of just like it's so, like, <laughs> so like task denied and I'm like oh come on and then, <laughs> task denied um then I tempt it with batteries and I'm like then um <laughs> it makes the sandwich for me I suppose oh nice right well it needs energy somebody else went that direction too i like that if we can maybe that's the answer to keeping the ai at bay is not giving them the energy they need to run thank you so much is that no your problem. is that your name piece yeah oh welcome thank you for being here all right thank we'll go to leanne and then jamie uh leanne Not sure if Leanne's there, but I'm glad. Oh, sorry, I'm here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh wait, you know what? I gotta change my background. Sorry, you can come uh, back to me. I have to figure uh, out how to do that. Uh, I think it's under video settings, right? It's usually pretty fast if you find, um, if you can find it. Oh. We'll wait for Jamie. Jamie, did you manage to f to finish? All right. Did we lose Leanne? All right, we're gonna go to Jamie. Okay. Hold on. Here. So where is the camera? I don't know. Can you see me? No. No, we can't. We do Cameras. this every week. There we are. Yeah, well, it could be your Zoom, Tom. It's not always my fault, but all that, right. That's true. That's true. You're right. You're it's right. my fault. I know. Okay, so well, I started drawing this thing. Oh, wait. Oh, I got to get the background off. Oh, here we go again. Dear God in heaven. Um, <laughs> hold on. Now I know where it is. Backgrounds and effects. Get it off. Okay, goodbye. All right, so I started drawing this one and that was like me fed up with all the problems of my body, like my hands cramping up and like a feet and like this whole thing. So I'm like, oh dear chat GPT, can you please make me a hot robot like that chick in X Machina? And then, but then I aborted that. And I remembered I had this other robot thing that I had drawn and I was like, well, what you probably would ask for is ask the AI if you could have like a robot family since you don't really have a family at all Aww. and so there's my robot husband and there's my robot kids and the best thing about having the robot family would be like i could go to the beach and relax because you know i'm obsessed with sharks so how could i ever <laughs> relax with my real family if the kids are going in the ocean but if it eats my robot baby the shark's probably just gonna spit it out or we can put them back together later so he's uh, like mom and i'm like oh it'll be fine you can't see me i'm the one taking this picture but uh that's probably uh, where my head was at tonight. And I'll try to do the four panel thing later. Thanks for having me. And it was so fun. Jamie, thanks. That's a tour de force. I'm really thanks. great. Post that. Okay. All right. Okay. Leanne says they've got it. They've got it figured out. So let's try this one last time. And this will be our last one. Thanks, everybody. Okay. I'm sorry. I figured it out. Okay. Um, this was a lot of fun. Thank you. So I put um, AI. I need you to screen my calls, <laughs> no robo calls or possible hackers. Ring, ring. No problem, sis. <laughs> sis. Here you go. Give me your phone. Here you go. Ring. Hmm. Hello, this is Leanne. <laughs> Down with you, robo callers. Drop, toss, stomp, crack, crack. <laughs> MG AI, not like that. Anyway, thank you. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> Leanne, thank you so much. And uh, Mishka, I think you should come on on screen and tell us what you're telling us in the chat. But if you don't want to, that's okay. I'm going to spotlight myself, I suppose. Um, yeah, I saw that on social media too. Um, gosh, thank you, everybody. This was so much fun. And I really, I hope, uh, I hope you will post it somewhere on social media or something, because then we'll have somebody, uh, I, I don't know, maybe in the future, they'll collect it and uh, see what we were thinking about before the real takeover. Um, which hasn't happened yet, of course. But um, thanks so much. I really, I, I really feel this anxiety pretty, pretty strongly. And so it was really great to share it with you and to find out some of some of what you all are thinking and just see what's in the back of your minds a little bit about this. Um, wow, I forgot. I usually ask people to unmute and then we can say goodbye mm -hmm. to everybody. Thank you everybody for being here. Let's hope that uh, the new year is better than the old year. Uh, the new generation is better than the old I don't know. I don't know. 
how to, what to wish for in this future but um but thanks for being here as we as we sort thank of you, Tom. Uh, thank you Tom. Thank you. 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 Thank you.